Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Debbie here, thank you for joining me. I wanted to come on and just show you one of the projects that managed to get finished today. Um, and this is using the beautiful digital papers from Enchanted Magical and it's Polka Art Studios. The set is actually called Enchanted Magical but it's sort of uh, Cinderella themed. And I've done like a little flippy folio. So I'll show you what I've done. Um, I've got a little uh, little star charm here, like wish, wish upon a star, and um, I've just a little, little bit of the um, ribbon that I used inside the uh, folio, and uh, this lovely blue seam, seam binding that I coloured with um, Tim Holtz tumbled glass distress oxide, and perfect match. Um, I love the colour blue, so it was definitely in my uh, in my sights to do so let's just it just wraps all the way around like so there we go. and this is the front page um, I have got a little bit of sparkle on the shoe and on a few little bits and I pop this lovely little butterfly that I cut from the paper on the back of a dress and it has a little tab here that shows you that it opens and there's a little pocket here for the butterfly and a little pearl and in the pocket there is a little um, notebook with some tea dyed paper and it's in a land far away that just tucks in there and then over here we have a belly band for this beautiful there's the castle little butterfly there's pumpkins uh, once upon a time in a land far far away and then we have the um, ticket in the name of the king you are invited to the grand ball and I'll just pop that into the belly band with a lovely little uh, collaged tag uh, with one of those lovely tabs I cut the tabs out myself from various bits of the paper okay so that's the front and then it turns this way hope you can see all this yeah it has a little envelope clip here and it has a card inside there and then we have a little tuck spot here which is Cinderella the image that's on the front a little uh, tag in there and then here we have a little, little oval of Cinderella dressed in the dress she wears to the ball and we have a little corner pocket here another one of those lovely little butterflies cut from the kit and some lovely little lace I had in my stash and I just popped some little pearls on and there's a large collage tag just in there so if we move over here we've got the invitation to the grand ball and in this this is an envelope and in here we have another collage tag with the tab on just pop that back in there and this flips this way and we have a little tuck spot which is her slipper and with the carriage so that just tucks in there and on this one here we have a corner pocket down here with a little uh, cluster that I made with butterflies and uh, lace and little um, tabs and labels so I'll just pop that on there so we have a little pocket there and then we have another pocket here with a collage tag and we have one at the back as well which is a large collage tag with Cinderella on the front and what I did was I found some pieces of lace and I just ruched them a little bit and stitched them across there um, so that they look like, like the ruffles on um, a shirt that the prince would wear maybe so look at sort of the layers of the the, uh, the lace coming down. I thought that was quite sweet. This is an envelope here that pops over. Of course, that card goes in there, and then we have this lovely large pocket here on the back of the music paper. I thought that was apt because of the ball. You'd have music, obviously, and that folds that way, and then that folds that way, and then this folds this way. We have a three-tier pocket here. Um, I put some lovely little rickrack ribbon that I had in my stash. We have another one of those little ovals with the roses and a butterfly, and a couple of 
little tags and cards in there. And then in the back one here we have a bookmark with a, a tassel. It's just made from one of the strips that's in the paper. I just popped an eyelet in and some of that lovely ribbon that I had moustache. Uh, and that pops into there and that will hang out the, the, uh, the end of the folio so it doesn't cause any bulk and stop you from... Then we uh, did a little collage here and put the word Cinderella down there. hope you can see that. With pumpkins, flowers and a slipper. And this is just a little flip. Flips up and we have a lovely little rose on the back. And in here we have a pocket clip. <coughs> And there's also a pocket at the front. So there's two there. I love a little collage tag. And then if I close that down for a minute, we can push it over and open it this way. Where we have the back of the folio. Beautiful carriage. And then we have a little tuck spot here on this envelope flip. And there's a little card in there too. And a little bit of stray lace there. Let's take that off. Um, this one is also an envelope flip and it has a little pocket from the kit in there, on there. And a little journal card inside. And then again this flips to this side and we have a little plain page here. You could do some writing here. And uh, we have a pocket here. A little, little butterfly with some pearls and a collage tag. And of course you can write on all, you know, the back of all the tags and uh, journal cards, things. So, and you can write here and here. It's another one of those little clusters here. This is a little lamp that I uh, cut from the kit. Just as a little embellishment. We have some more of that lace with the pearls on there. And then that flips over that way. That flips that way. That flips that way. And then this closes over and then it just wraps with the seam binding. And I'm going to wrap, wrap it now twice and then do the bow. Let's see if I can get the bow done again. <laughs> Just pop this pin back on with this little star charm. No, it doesn't want to go back on. There we go. No, it doesn't want it. I'm not fiddling with it just now. I'll put it back on in a minute. So there she is. <coughs> Cinderella once upon a time and it is called Enchanted Magical and it is from Polka Art Studios so I hope you like her um, she's going up into my Kofi site and I'm just going to take some photos now and pop her up for sale so if anybody's interested my link will be down below so you can follow to my Kofi site and uh, thank you very much for joining me if you did like it please give me a th thumbs up and leave me a comment that would be lovely and subscribe if you haven't already it would be much appreciated and uh, i'll see you in the next video bye bye